What's up guys, my name is Sigma here for Troubleshoot and today I'll be going through a program called Grepwin. It is an incredibly power, very useful open source free tool for searching through the contents of many files at once very quickly. Now I do say contents because it can check both the titles and the contents of the files. So say you're looking for a keyword like a password or part of a sentence, then you can search through a huge amount of documents and files in a very short amount of time. So for example, I have TeamSpeak 3 on my computer. I can view chat logs and go through the history and say I want to find a password. Well, I've got a video on that specific topic if that interests you, it'll be linked down below. However, that's not the point of the video. In that video, I mentioned that there's a bunch of randomly generated names and inside of these folders are a bunch of channel.html files. Opening them up will give you the history of the channel that you talked in. So let's say that you want to search through all of these channel.html files for the keyword password. Well, using the search in the top right, you'll see no results because this only searches for file names. If you want to search for contents, then you should use something like Grepwin. So open up your internet browser of choice. I don't have Google Chrome installed. However, head to the first link in the description down below and download Grepwin. Simply hit the green download button over here and wait for it to begin. Then you can hit run or save and install it separately and hit next once it pops up. I agree, next. You can change the install directory, next, and install. Hit yes when prompted, finish, and then when you press start, you'll see a new program added called Grepwin, otherwise you can search for it. Opening up Grepwin brings up this screen right here. Now it's very confusing to beginners, but I'll explain it very simply. This top bar is the folder that you're going to be searching in. Regex and text search are two different kinds of search. Text search is what you'll usually be using. Regex includes something like slash n for new lines, which is the same as enter, but we're going to go ahead and avoid that for now. Text search is much easier. Search for is the term that you want to look for, and you can in fact mass replace if you enter something in here, which will enable the replace button down here. But I'm not going to be replacing things just yet. Next up, we won't be using case sensitive or dot matches new line, etc, etc. We're going to leave everything as is. We're going to go ahead and copy the folders URL like this that we want to search. And in fact, let's just open up the first one of these random folders and let's make a new file. We'll call it channel.txt. Inside of here, we'll type in my password is password123. Save and close. We're going to be looking for a password. Again, if we search here for password, nothing will come up. So let's go into Grepwin and search for password. When we click search, we'll see that at the bottom here, it returns two files that have the keyword password inside of them. Double clicking will open up the file. Obviously, password has been mentioned before in a previous file, so I'm not going to go ahead and open that up. But here's the example file that we created. Changing it from files to content at the bottom, it changes the path here to where it was actually detected. So it'll say my password is 123. This is the line of text that we searched for. Next to it, it also says what line it appears on if you're using a line numbered text viewer. So super simple and very useful. Let's go ahead and replace password with you shall not pass by clicking the replace button and hitting yes. It will simply replace every instance of password to you shall not pass. If you click no, you can make a backup first. So you'll do that by ticking the create backup files and then clicking replace. Then you'll see all of the files that it replaced the text in. And if you open them up, you'll see the password keyword has been replaced by you shall not pass. And even the one over here, keeping the one, two, three at the end of it, much like a mass replace function inside of a advanced text editor. So opening up the folder again, you'll see a channel text dot back. It creates a dot back file for every file that it replaces text inside of. If we hit search after removing the replace line, you'll see that it found results in the dot back files as well. So let's go ahead and add a password back to here, save and close hit search and that's appearing in three places. Say that you don't want to search for certain files or you want to search specifically for certain file types. You can under file names match 
use star.txt to mean anything.txt, hitting search will only return text files. Say you want a second term in here, we can add a pipe, which is the straight down line on your keyboard. It's usually above the enter key with the backslash above it. Holding shift and pressing it will enter the pipe. Then we'll add star.bak as well to search for text or back files. Hit search and you'll see that they all appear here at the bottom. So super simple. If you'd like to go even more advanced and limit the search size, you can say all sizes or size is less than and then insert a value here. By default, it's less than 2000 kilobytes because if it searches through gigabytes of files, the search may be very slow, especially if you're searching something like your entire computer. If you're doing something like that, I highly recommend that you use file names match and keep it less than a certain file size unless you're sure that the file is much, much bigger than two megabytes. So anyways, super simple, incredibly useful if you know what you're doing with it. And that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Bean Technobo here for Troubleshoots, and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.